couldn't get the offense going like I had planned, but that's just part of football, and you got to continue to get better every day. Nate came in, and I thought he did pretty well for the most part, but just like everybody, we've got to both continue to get better every day in practice and just keep pushing to be our best every day. When you watched it on film again, what did you not like, I guess, when you saw you know, what uh, went wrong? and what decisions did... I made that I know better than that, and I just got to clean it up a little bit and keep working. Why was everything so hard in the first half? Uh, we just never really got in a rhythm. I mean, respect to Northwestern, they're pretty good, but we should be able to move the ball no matter who we're playing against. And we just never really got in a rhythm, and things kind of started off slow. How's the, how's the quarterback uh, you know, competition during the week helping both of you guys? Uh, we're just both trying to get better every single day, and we're not too worried about that. We're just working on self-improvement. You know, Every single day I don't come to practice trying to be better than Nate. I just try to come and be the best I can be every day, and I'm sure he does the same thing. Nate yeah. talked about uh, the same question in terms of competition. Uh, yeah, you know, we come in, like you said, we come into practice, you know, not really thinking me versus you is kind of just, you know, individually how can we improve ourselves, you know, because like Coach Wilson tells us, you know, we're both, they, they need us both, you know, and we're not going to let that good quarterback play. So, I mean, you know, we're both working extremely hard, uh, you know, in the film room. He's up there all the time. I come kind of with him sometimes and not. You know, we're both working hard in the weight room, you know, just trying to prepare each week. But, you know, we're, we're getting on the right track, the right track, and we'll get there. Does it take a certain sort of mental, I guess, state to be in when, when you know it, that both of you guys are going to play, I guess, that maybe, you know, if one of you guys has a bad day that you might lose it in the middle of a game, I guess. Do you have right. to kind of be prepared for that? Um, yeah, I mean, personally, I just go into each game, you know, it's, it's, it's just a different situation. You know, just go in, you know, ready at all times you root, like I'm rooting for Cam at any moment you know when he got nicked up last or two weeks ago I was just you know ready to step in but you know you're rooting for him we really are fans of each other and we, we both work hard during the week we see the work we put in and you we want the other person to do really well so also. I guess the quarterback competition push you guys knowing you just don't have a job handed to you you've got to work for it I think it helps a lot because you never get complacent. You know, you always are going in each week. You know, I got to play my best today to improve myself to help the team get better. You know, we, we both, you know, take it very seriously and work extremely hard at it. And, you know, the coaches coach us up hard and, you know, give us some reps and, you know, are, uh, you know, getting us ready each week. And we're just going out trying to do our own thing and trying to, you know, uh, do the best we can for our team. Is there any anxiety level now in terms of, when a coach is going to let you know who starts on Saturday, or at what point in the week does that usually happen? Um, personally, you know what, I think Cam and I both, you know, we just worry about things we can control, you know, so that's the easiest way to put it. You know, we just go out and work as hard as we can, and if we're called upon, we go out, and if not, you know, we just, you know, we try to, we just be at peace with it and cheer on the team, and, you know, try to help out as we can, but, you know, we really try to, you know, to stay, stay level-headed and, you know, worry about the control. Cam, you, you were part of a, a pretty productive offense last year in junior college. What do you feel are some things that you guys need to do to avoid first halves like you had against Northwestern? Um, I think as far as what we're doing and how we're doing it, we're, we're on the right track, but you know, sometimes it just sputters. We're not anywhere near where we need to be. We just need to keep working hard, keep getting better every day, and it's going to come if we just keep, keep chipping away at it. How, how do you handle the fact that there is pressure on the quarterback? Because, as, as Wilson has said, good quarterback play is needed for this offense to be productive. Yeah, I mean, with college football, there's pressure, but you just you don't play and think about that. You're just out there playing, having fun, and I play for my teammates and for God, and that's all I'm really worried about. So just be at peace and do the best you can. And that's all you can do. How do you kind of block out just the possibility that you know if you're having a bad day, you might get pulled? I guess when there's a when there's um, a possibility I mean, of that you happening. Can't think about that, or you're going to play bad. You just got to go looking forward, not looking over your shoulder. And if it does happen to be that I get pulled, then I'm rooting for Nate because I I want to be a team player. And if Nate is our best option at that time, if I'm not doing well, then I want our team to win. And if that means Nate going in at that point, then I'm fine with our team winning if that's how we're going to be successful. You guys both had receivers go up and make some big plays Saturday. I mean, just how much does that help your confidence as a quarterback knowing that you've got guys out there that can do that? Oh, that really makes a big difference. You're really confident just throwing out there knowing we've got some big, strong receivers that are going to go up and make plays. And I know myself and Nate threw a couple of balls that were kind of inside, and our receivers really bailed us out and made some great plays on. So it gives us a lot of confidence to throw it out there and throw it up knowing that they're going to go get it for us.
How have you seen each other evolve? I guess you know what, what have you seen Nate get better at? Nate, what have you seen Cam get better at? If you guys have just you know played together and uh, you know worked together, both, you know so um, far. I think Nate's come really far just as far as learning the offense because obviously he came here not knowing anything out of high school and he's just mm. worked hard every day to watch film, know our plays, and even now just every single day just gets a little bit better and keeps learning our, what we're trying to do and everything and just keeps continuing to get better. Yeah, Cam uh, is very heady. Like, even when we're watching film, he'll point out things you know I don't see, and you know he's very he sees little things that you know not the average quarterback sees. So you know little you know breaks and coverages and little you know hot routes or whatever. He he just sees a lot of a lot of those things, and that's been impressive to you know, be around. Moving out of left field, what's Trey doing for you guys right now? Just kind of what's his role? I know Coach is talking about how he wants to keep him engaged. And keep him um, uh, Trey is really helping out a lot. He, uh, you know, you can tell it, the person he really wants to be back and, you know, rooting for him to get back, but he comes and, you know, he played Northwestern last year, he played Michigan State last year, so he's giving us advice, like, uh, when you see this coverage, you know, you got you got this route, or don't hold it too long here, or, you know, what, you got to hit the hot right here, they're coming quick, you know, just little, little meticulous, you know, details that, you know, maybe a coach doesn't see, but a player who's played in the game, you know, sees, and he's giving us pointers. All right, guys. Thanks, fellas. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you. it. Thanks. Thank you.